So something I hear quite a lot is that PC gaming is expensive to get into and now this can be true if you're buying new parts, especially in today's market. Though today I'm going to show you guys an alternative, something that I built this month that's very easy to do, it's inexpensive and of course at worst all you have to do is probably change a graphics card and maybe even clean out your computer, but for under $200 you can have something that can play the latest titles at 1080p and play it very well, even titles like PUBG at 1080p 60fps and get a very smooth experience. Also other titles like Overwatch, CSGO and Dota 2 are no problems too. So let's take a look at this PC that I built. Welcome back to Tech Yes City, this is Brian coming to you guys today with a video on the cheapest and easiest way to get into PC gaming. Now this month when I was out deal hunting I picked up a PC for 80 US dollars. Now this thing was pretty dirty when I got it home, I cleaned it up, however I noticed that it had pretty good parts in it. It had a 4 core i5, 1 terabyte hard drive, 8 gigabytes of DDR3 memory, motherboard, decent power supply and decent case with two included fans and a heatsink already on there. And now it was already working, I confirm this when I go to buy it. So if you guys are going to do what I do in this video and I do recommend it, then I do stress this, do make sure that the parts are working before you go buy them. One thing with used parts and one thing that's a big headache is when you buy a part and it just simply doesn't work, i.e. you got hosed. Though a good hosing aside, if you manage to pick up a PC like I have here and you put in a graphics card like a GTX 750 Ti, then you'll have a really good gaming experience. Now the GTX 750 Ti was a very popular graphics card when it was released a few years ago. However, since there's new cards out like the 1050, 1050 Ti, a lot of people who want to upgrade to the latest and greatest will now be selling their 750 Ti's. So in some cases you can pick them up for around $50 to $100, and at this price it's a pretty good deal. You add this in and it does doesn't need any PCIe connectors and you can have a decent game experience. Now the PC that I bought here actually came with a graphics card, it's a really old graphics card, it's the 9600 GT which is very old, it'll play terribly in today's titles. So I then took this graphics card out which is very easy, you may need a screwdriver depending on the PC and then put the 750 Ti in and I was good to go. I was now ready to play games, however before I did that I also like to overclock. Now that's something that not a lot of people can do, I'm sure if you're just getting into PC gaming it's going to be very confusing for you, but the computer that I had here had an i5-750 which is a 4 core and it's actually quite old to today's standards, I believe it's a 7 year old CPU. However, it's still very good and it can still play games at 1080p. Take for example when we go into PUBG, I had this CPU running at 3.57 GHz on all 4 cores which is a sizable boost over the out of the box 2.66 GHz. Also on the graphics card I managed to give that a near extra 200 MHz on the core and also around 250 MHz on the memory and at these overclocks I was getting really good performance. We take for example PUBG, 1080p. I was getting very low settings around 60 FPS at all times. And now very low is what a lot of pros like to use in this game, it definitely the foliage and stuff like that. In battles you also get less dips and this is exactly what was happening, especially when it came to gunfights, I was getting no problems whatsoever doing those clutch plays. So overclocking is something that if you can do then I highly recommend it here on the channel. Now continuing on with the titles, when I do budget builds a lot of people seem to request GTA 5, so booting this up, running it at 1080p normal settings, we're getting near 100 frames a lot of the time, sometimes going even higher. Very smooth experience, not many dips, I mean there is the occasional dip that's inherent to GTA 5 itself, but besides that, very smooth experience. Now next up here we had a popular multiplayer esports title from Blizzard, this was Overwatch. At all times we were pretty much getting over 80 FPS at 1080p high settings. A lot of the times it was going into 100 FPS, so it was a very smooth experience, one that this $150 PC was handling perfectly fine. And of course not to forget about CSGO which is another very popular title, we're on DE Dust 2 with a high low blend which is how I like to play this game especially at 1080p. At these settings we we're getting over 200 FPS at practically all times, extremely smooth experience, one which someone would love when they're playing CSGO, especially competitive gamers. 
And the last title we've got up here is Dota 2, one which I used to be good at, now I kind of suck because I don't play that much anymore, but at 1080p high settings, we were getting near again 100 FPS at practically all times. There was no dips, even in battles, very smooth experience. So if you guys are looking for a PC that can get into 1080p gaming and it's not going to give you dips when you're on those clutch plays, which is arguably the most important time when you need your computer to perform, then something like this on a budget is highly recommended. I absolutely love it and even the month before that, I picked up a computer for a little bit more but it did have again a 4 core, 8 gigabytes of memory, the whole package. So all you have to do a lot of the times is add in a GTX 750 Ti. Now if you're in Australia, you can get these for around 60 Australian dollars. If you're in the US, they're up on eBay all the time, around 50 to 100 dollars. Really when it gets to $100, you could think about getting a GTX 1050, which is on Amazon, and you can pick them up for around about 110 used. So if you wanna get a modern day card, then a GTX 1050 will definitely perform even better than the 750 Ti that I've featured here today. Though with a computer like this, what about maintenance and what about keeping those temperatures low? Well, in this case, we're using a low powered 750 Ti, so it doesn't put out much heat to begin with. So really with these graphics cards that don't require PCIe connectors, you don't have to worry about them. As in terms of the CPU, it's a four core. It doesn't use much power on its own. However, I did overclock it to 3.57 gigahertz on the stock cooler. And even then in a 28 degree ambient environment, the temperatures were going to 90 degrees. So we still had an extra 10 degrees headroom on a stock cooler, which is arguably one of the worst things you can put on this i5-750. The one big question I get asked, and this is that this PC looks good, it's cheap, how did you get this thing for so cheap? And the trick is that you have to ask for the deals. You have to search for those deals. No asky, no getty. That's a general rule of thumb. So a lot of the times I only hunt once a month in Australia and like literally on that day, I'll just pull up the deals and go hunting. And I seem to be doing very well in Australia. Now I was in Japan before getting really good deals. And when I was over there, a lot of people said, when you go back to Australia, you're not gonna get the deals, dude and I seem to keep getting the deals. And I'm sure if I was in the US or if I was in the UK where there's a lot of used parts, I'm pretty sure that I could get the deals again. You've just got to know what to look for and get those deals. And today I'm showing you guys a very good formula. If you want to get into PC gaming, just look for an OEM computer. I'll put some links and some search titles in the description below on what to look for. Now this just wouldn't really be much of a Tech Yes City video if I didn't give you guys some specific recommendations. So in eBay or in Craigslist or in Gumtree, you can type in some simple searches like desktop computer or desktop PC. And from here, you can look around and see what comes up. Ideally, we're looking for a four core, something with an i5-2400 or an i5-750 or an i5-3470. These are four cores, they're budget, and usually PCs with these specifications on them will come with a four core, eight gigabytes of RAM, one terabyte hard drive, power supply, motherboard, whole case, and all you have to do, like we said before, is add in a graphics card. However, when you do type in desktop computer or desktop PC, it can bring up a lot of old dinosaurs, things which won't even perform well in today's games. They're just a complete waste of time. And so if you do wanna save a bit of time, you can type in more specific searches for instance, like i5-2400 PC, i5-750 PC, i5-3470 PC. Though another trick, if you are on a budget, you can type in i5-550 PC. And what this will do is it'll bring up a cheaper version that you can then put a Xeon in, for instance, an X3450 or an X3470, which is a CPU you can get for around about $35. Put that in this PC if you're into changing a CPU and you now have one four core eight threaded beast on a budget as well. However, another thing on that note, when you're looking for the PC parts, make sure you don't get scammed. When I was looking at 750 Ti's, I noticed that there was literally fake 750 Ti's. Even one of the ads was sponsored. I can't believe eBay allows this to happen. I'm actually gonna send eBay a message and ask them why they're allowing sellers to do this as I think it's ridiculous. And you can tell straight away, it says 192 bit wide bit bus. This is not cool. This is essentially, I believe, a five series graphics card, like a GTX 560 Ti, I'm not too sure. But something like that will perform a lot slower than a 750 Ti. So essentially you're getting hosed on this deal. A 750 Ti has a 128 bit wide bit bus, I believe. So that graphics card 
if you're looking for it. Take a look at the photos and also just check the information and make sure it checks out. Make sure you're not getting hosed. You can always ask in the comment section below where a lot of people will be glad to help you out. Anyway guys, if you enjoyed today's video, then be sure to give it a big thumbs up and let me know in the comments section below what some of the best deals you've picked up lately. And also if you've got any other alternatives, be sure to post them in the comments section below or if you have any questions about today's build and how I get these things so clean. And also on that note, when I do clean my PCs, I just use alcohol wipes a lot of the time. Sometimes I'll use a rag and WD-40 to give it a nice shiny finish. Anyway guys, if you're dealing with electronics as well, make sure the power is switched off and all the power is drained too. And I'll catch you in another tech video very soon. Peace out for now. Bye.